So the intervention that I chose was Pirate Math. Um, Pirate Math is a small group intervention for the use of students at the third grade instructional level. Uh, Pirate Math can also be used as individual for an individual intervention, um, but the one that I chose to do is small group. Um, Pirate Math offers support to Tier 2 and Tier 3 students who require supplemental math remediation in the area of word problem solving. Um, in Pirate Math, you do need to implement this with students in small groups of two to three students. Um, for uh, Pirate Math, this intervention should be implemented three times per week for 13 school weeks, and each lesson should last around 30 to 35 minutes. Um, Pirate Math, it does include um, teacher lesson guides, teacher activity guides, um, the, student, the student's work, and some supplemental materials. Um, so some research on Pirate Math. Um, Pirate Math has indicated that at-risk third graders, and this is third graders with and without learning disabilities, um, so that at-risk third graders who performed in the lowest 13th percentile of their classes demonstrated improved word problem performance with their math math equation quest compared to those who did not participate in pirate math equation quest. Um, so for the lessons, for the pirate math lessons, these are to be taught explicitly, explicit, explicitly um, to students in groups of three and four. So each lesson includes five components, math fact flashcards, which I have right here. It's just a bunch of addition, subtraction, multiplication um, flashcards. You can use any flashcards. These are just the ones that they gave me to print out. Um, equation quest. Um, Buccaneer Problems, Ship Shape Sorting, and Jolly Ranger Review. And each of these are included in the teacher packet and in the student packet. Um, and in each lesson, it gives a teacher a guideline. It gives them the materials they need, um, the instructions so they can follow this directly or they can choose to um, kind of veer off and just use this as a slide guide. Um, but everything you need is in this teacher packet. Um, so the supplemental materials, this includes the rules, poster, um, it also has all the treasure maps that students will need. It has counting up by addition, counting um, up by subtraction posters. Uh, so it just includes a lot of things that the students may need. Um, so I will be do going over lesson one. And in lesson one, it does not have the equation quest or ship shape sorting. And the teacher guide explains that this will be presented um, later on. So it kind of, it starts off more simple and you add on as you go. So the first thing that the teacher is gonna do is introduce herself. Um, so hi, my name is Charlie. Um, this year we'll work on math word problems and we'll work hard to get better in math. And then I'll display this rules poster and we'll go over the rules. So before we get started, let's talk about some rules. This poster, and I'll point to the poster, shows us the rules for how we behave when we work together. Look at our first rule. Um, 
it says use inside voices. Look at the picture that goes with this rule. And I'll point to the picture. Why is this a good picture to remind us of using our inside voices? And the students will respond with their answers. You're right, we'll work hard in the library or hallway, wherever we're working. So we have to be quiet and use our inside voices. Always use your inside voices. That's our first rule. And then I'll go over rule two, rule three, and rule four with the students, just as I did with the first rule. Okay, so after we go over those rules, um, so if you follow these rules, we'll have fun and learn a lot about math. When we work on math problems together, we'll play pirate math. Just like pirate math, just like a pirate, we will have a treasure map. So then I will show students whatever treasure map we have. Um, pirate map does come with different maps. So this is the one we'll be using first. So this map has footsteps to color. When we colored in all the footsteps and land on the X, each of you will receive a prize from the treasure box. On the treasure map, there's a, a space for us to write our group name. Do you have any ideas for a good group name? This will be our group name for the year. Please raise your hand. So during this time, I'll give students about one to two minutes to all agree on a group name. And I'll also display the treasure box so that they have an idea of what they'll get, what to look forward to. So once they have their group name, um, I'll continue. Throughout the lesson, your group will learn, will earn treasure coins by following the pirate math rules. Each time we work together, we'll count the number of coins you earned as a group and color that number of footsteps on the treasure, ma on the treasure map. What happens when you have enough stickers to land on the big X on the map? And then the students will respond with, they get a um, prize out of the treasure box. Um, so the next part we'll go into is the math fact flashcards, which I have all of these already printed out, ready for students. So the first activity we do every day will be our math fact flashcards. And then I'll have students look at the cards. Each card has one math problem on it. The problem is an addition problem or a subtraction problem. We will complete the flashcard activity as a round robin. I'll show the first person in the group one card. The first person will look at the problem and tell me the answer as quickly as he or she can. Then I will move the second person and show him or her the second card. This person will look at the problem and tell me the answer as quickly as he or she can. We will continue this with the third and fourth person. We will repeat the pattern and your group will answer as many flashcards as you can in one minute. Remember, you only answer the problem when it's your turn in the round robin. Um, if you get the answer correct, I'll put it on the pile. Remember, as a group, you'll have one minute to answer as many flashcards as you can. I'll hold up the flashcard to the first person, you'll give the answer. Then I'll hold up the flashcard for the next person and so on. So after I read those directions, we'll go and um, practice. We'll do one round of practice and I'll probably also remind them of um, the rules poster just since it's the first day and go over that if they do follow these rules, they get to mark their footsteps in. Um, so then at the end of one minute, we'll all count the number of cards in the pile. Um, so once we count the number of cards in the pile, I'll tell them how many their group answered correctly. And then we will mark that down, um, on a graph and 
uh, we'll tell them the number, they'll mark it on the graph, and then they'll try to beat that score next time. Okay, um, so every day we'll warm up our brain with these flashcards. As you get better in math, your graph will get higher and higher, and this is a good way to introduce graphs as well. Okay, so if they did a great job, then their group will earn a treasure coin. Um, as I said, equation quest, that'll start in lesson two, so we don't have equation quest for this. Um, the next thing is the buccaneer problems, and this is the sheet of buccaneer problems. Um, so today we'll learn how to use this number line in our fingers to add and subtract. Look at the number line, and I'll point to this number line. Have you ever seen a number line? And students will respond with their answer. Um, so the number line starts at zero and goes up to 20. Each notch along the number line has one number on it. And I'll point to each number. Let's count the numbers now starting with zero and I'll point to the number and we will count together. Now let's look at some addition problems and use the number line to find the answers. So we'll start with A. So I'll point, have everyone point to A. What sign tells us to add? And students will respond with a plus sign. That's right, a plus sign tells us to add. When we add, we combine two or more numbers together. The problem we'll work on today have two numbers you add together. One of the numbers is greater, one of the numbers is less. Look at this first problem, A. Um, the problem says five plus three equals blank. We can use our number line to solve a problem like this. I put my number, I put my finger on the number that's greater. Which number is greater, five or three? And students will respond with five. Um, that's right, five is the greater number, so I put my finger on five, and I'll have everyone put their finger on five. The problem says five plus three, so you add three. To add three, jump up three more numbers on the number line. I start on five and use my finger to jump three. So five, six, seven, eight. Okay, um, so five plus three equals, and students will respond with eight. Um, yes, your answer is the last number you say. In an addition problem, we call the answer the sum. Put five in your fist and count up three more. So we'll put five in a fist and then count up three more. Um, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight is the last number you say. Um, so the sum is eight. Okay. Um, so with these problems, we'll just continue on uh, with just the addition problems because I'm gonna save subtraction. So we continue on with the addition and then I will put up this counting up addition poster for students. Um, so the next thing that we do is our Jolly Ranger review. So once we've all practiced and um, students feel confident with adding up. We move on to the Jolly Ranger review. So this is the last activity we do every day, and this is practice problems. We call these problems our Jolly Ranger review. Okay, so I will display the Jolly Ranger review. Again, we're only doing the addition today. Um, so the top has addition um, and the bottom has a word problem. You'll learn to solve these word problems soon. 
and then I'll give each student one minute to work on the addition problems and I'll set a timer for one minute. And then once they are done with that, they'll have two minutes to work on the word problem. Okay, so after that, students will earn another treasure coin if they have done a great job. And then we will count the number of coins in the group earned today and mark them on the treasure map. Um, once we've counted all the coins, they'll get to color in the footsteps on their treasure map. And then I'll remind students, once your group fills out the footsteps to the X in the middle of the map, everyone will choose a prize out of the treasure box. And I really liked um, pirate math because it was a fun way to get students involved and it offered um, some prizes, which I think will really motivate students. And um, this is something I can definitely see myself using in the future.